So people, fairness here, and welcome to the last part of the puppet riffs that you might be playing incorrectly. We left part 4 in the middle section before we go into Kirk's main solo. So let's start then. The riff that is next is this one. So for wrong taps on this one, there's only one thing that I've seen taps get wrong sometimes, and it's those two notes in between. So that note is correct. The only thing that I learned wrong from taps back in the day was that it said that you need to play those two notes as power chords. The correct way to play that is with the two fast notes being simply single notes, not power chords there. That last note that does ring out for a little bit is a power chord though. Then we basically repeat that same riff during James's singing, and there is a part where we have to stop palm muting this riff before we go into the solo, so let's play that. <laughs> Now onto the sneaky part in this video. You notice how before we go into the solo section and before we start playing the verse riff again, I did this pick slide followed by another slide, you know, just a normal finger slide. That is indeed correct, and it is what some of the guitars are playing. But as we discussed in past parts, there's a ton of guitars layered in this album in general, and this part is no exception, to the point that I was honestly kinda shocked to hear that there's a couple more guitars that play this during those lights. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a show where I've seen them play those notes live, but you can definitely hear them in the isolated tracks. So yeah, if you wanted to play that, you can, it's technically correct. Here's the quad tracked example so you can hear how all the guitars sound together. After that we go into the solo section. You already know all the riffs that you need to know to be able to play the rhythm on this part. That's because we just repeat the verse riff and the pre-chorus riff, so... Then during the solo around this part... Around there you switch to the pre-chorus riff, which as we know is... And on that part the solo ends and we get to the second to last riff that we need to learn to know all the riffs in this song, which is this one. <laughs> For wrong taps, again, is the thing where I learned this riff and it told you to play, you know, the power chords instead of those single notes in between, so... And also interesting writing fact on this part. This riff that we are learning now is basically a sped up version of the riff before the solo. And you know, also turn down a whole step, so you know, two frets lower. Yeah, just a random note here in the video. So yeah, like in that riff, we play those two fast single notes as single notes. No shit. And we play the note that rings out a bit more as a power chord, so... <laughs> And 
So now the last riff that we need to know to be able to play puppets fully. The cool scale riff, as I like to call it. For wrong taps I haven't seen any, honestly, the version that I learned when I was a kid was correct, so here it goes. <laughs> with this riff for a long time when I learned the song is that no one did the taps for the harmony in that part. It also doesn't help that I have personally never seen a show where James or Kirk actually played at harmony as both only played at bass riff so yeah that's kind of sad. But yeah anyways because of that here's the tap for the harmony part. <laughs> the scale riff but double tracked so you can hear how both of the guitars sound together. <laughs> After the scale riff we go back to the And you know at this point we just repeat the verse, then the pre-chorus, the chorus, the post-chorus or the second chorus riff and it's basically just learning what we already know. Then after the last we repeat the verse riff once more and that's how we go into the ending of the song. And once we actually get to the ending of the song, we just play this part. And you know, add all the laughter and, and all that stuff on that part. And that's it for all the riffs that you need to know to be able to play Master of Puppets. It's been really cool to me to find the sneaky stuff that we have seen on some of the parts on this series, like you know, the octave part in the verse riff, and also on this one, that 3 2 0 thing that I just was not expecting that at all. But yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, then consider doing that, and also consider liking and sharing the video as that's the best way that you can help me grow this channel. And also, a lot of you guys have been asking me for how I get the tone of my guitar for these videos. So that's gonna be the next one, how I got the guitar tone that I get on these videos. I'm personally really excited for that video as I love talking about gear and tone and you know, that sort of stuff. But yeah, stay tuned for that one. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you all in the next one.